What's up? Welcome back to more or less play Rex and Clank. Last time we picked up the patented grind boots. But you actually can just outright choose to put them on and farm throughout the um, planet. Rather, you're grinding a really cool touch. I like it a lot. You know, it's kind of better than having them walk around barefoot, I say. <laughs> Alright, this time. We're off to the main event. That's right, ladies and gents. We are going hoverboard ra hoverboard racing. Yes. Oh, and we gotta find Captain Cork because that's pretty important too. Galactic security is pretty important as well. But I just want to try out my new hoverboard, damn it! <clears throat> okay. Go to the, um, vendor. Actually, you could, I think you could have bought this a while now. That's a real beauty. Okay. I don't know why it's displaying... Oh. Took up too long for it to go off screen. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. We can get the mine glove. Just because we can get it, um, <clears throat> doesn't necessarily mean I want to. I think I'm gonna hold off a little while. Well, you'll see why in a little bit. Actually, yeah, I think I will go for the, um... Shouldn't spoil it outright. But, um... That over there? That is an Extermabot. We've seen this guy, we've seen this guy in the, um... <clears throat> the Infobot saying hi to Dollar Gratch. I eat TV, which is waifu. <laughs> don't, don't deny it. You know it's true. I mean, you've seen the video like seven times. <laughs> Ready? That tank uh, is basically um, less than durable. Yeah, one bomb glove will get rid of it. So it's kind of weak sauce. Can I hit it, please? Thank you. Kind of wasting my bombs there. I know, just for the sake of getting a few bolts. Like, if you don't even consider math, I actually wasted a couple of that. Oh well. Suck it, greedy. He says after getting a bunch of bolts now. You see that circling in the water over there? <clears throat> yeah, that right there is an enemy, but at the same time. <clears throat> that is a shark gator just swimming in circles in these waters. You gotta stay out of that ocean, otherwise you will die in one gulp. Also, yeah, we actually get to see those strange and boy creatures. As you hit them, they multiply and shoot down. <clears throat> you gotta hit them three times for, for it to go down permanently. So there you go, they'll just split and you gotta take out the smaller guys. Really, really kind of weak sauce, especially if you use the parasite to get rid of them. And what am I doing? I gotta use the wrench to break that, break that, and uh, set my ammo. Even though um, money is actually sparse, it's not exactly all that plentiful, so you gotta be careful about all that kind of thing. I sold so many external bots, what am I gonna do? I'm doomed! Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, I just blown them up with these. One thing I do like is the fact that, <clears throat> that even your older weapons, no matter how far you get in the game, does have legitimate uses. Like, for instance, you can just burn these guys with the um, Pyro Sector, which is actually the best way to get rid of these guys. We can use the Blaster to get rid of, get rid of these guys 
as long as they're moving moving around. You know what? Okay, I'll be the first to admit that's not exactly the best strategy, but as long as they can remain somewhat at a distance and, and use it, it's really not that bad. Just gotta keep circling around. Okay. As I explained it, it does come up as okay, it's not that not really a good strategy to use a blast for I guess it's our summer boss specifically. I guess um <clears throat> Okay, the jig's up. I might as well come clean. That is Loki saying that's not the best not the best strategy to use as I was actively demonstrating it. Yeah, but why am I getting so many voice cracks? Holy Let's just hop in the taxi and just go down, go downtown. We see a bit of a war going on, somewhat. And no surprise. Why did I think I can open the quick select while on the stationary taxi? Why did I think that would work? <laughs> I wasn't thinking, that's what! Or maybe I secretly like this taxi. Yeah. Typically, um... The extremer bots will win out against the amyloids, which... I kinda like to see because... Well, that just means they're competent at their job. Somewhat. They still can't catch a Lombax. <laughs> it's really amazing just how useful the damn bomb glove is. Unless they copy what I was doing earlier with the, the last one, in which case. Wow. That, my luck sucks there. Just gonna go ahead and collect all these bolts, and you see that guy that's just standing right there? Just go around and get these bolts real quick. And <coughs> let's walk up to him. <coughs> I know who you rope. Treat. Well, okay, ratchet. I'm kidding. Sorry, he's not for sale. What's a rhino anyway? Rip ya a new one. What did you just say to me? Ah. Uh, why and who? Rip ya a new one. Why, that's the most powerful missile launcher in the galaxy. I know it's worth a lot of bolts. He must have stolen it from the flower. Stolen? Look, Trash King. Did I say anything about it being hot? You better watch your mouth or I'll... Wait, don't tell me. Rip ya a new one. 150,000. Yes. Specifically for... The Rhino from a shady businessman. <clears throat> if you can somehow get that much bolts, you are unstoppable. That is bar none the most powerful, most broken weapon in the entire Game. It's pretty much rape against anyone that dares even look at you funny. It is that powerful. So naturally, it won't be that ridiculously high price. But like I said, if you can muster that many bolts with good luck getting that in one playthrough. Oh boy. You become basically an unstoppable god of death. Yes. Holy Christ, man. But, but going up here, there is a bit of a method to getting that much bolts, but at the same time, it's a little bit <clears throat> glitched. We'll say. And I'll try to pull it up, but I don't think I can. Also, you got another one of those things right here. <laughs> Which I 
guess that would make sense, especially, um, well, if you play this game thoroughly and you know exactly what's rare. That may actually be useful, but since I'm tackling this, actually, no, not necessarily. Since you have, since, well, you have to complete this mission for that to even be usable in the first place, so, not necessarily. I'd argue that's kind of a bad place to be for it, but it is. And go ahead and be the race ninja that I've always dreamed of being! <laughs> I don't know why recently I just keep flip-flopping between um, using the wrench to take out enemies and using casual tran brand weapons. And again, who's to say the Omni wrench isn't casual tran brand? So, I guess technically, in a sense, I am using casual tran weaponry. Uh, what else? Just wanna go down this path right here. Um, I don't think you necessarily need to get all the external bots, but I highly recommend you do so because, well, I guess I guess that you do want to get as much bots as you can. Okay, now this place. Look over to the left. There is a gold bolt right here, but these um, laser fence units. Some will account as jump slots, and they don't hurt you whatsoever. Yeah. Your guess is as good as mine as to why it does that. I mean, you'd think it would hurt Ratchet pretty bad, but... No, it doesn't. You just wall jump off them. I mean, yeah, video game doesn't have to make sense. It is kind of stupid, but at the same time, it's also kind of comical. Excuse me. Break that. Thank you. Uh... I always pull out the stuff from taking on these guys. I, I swear the uh, Meat Boys are just laughably easy enemies. Alright. <clears throat> so time to smash these. You can actually use that to um, <clears throat> circumvent that little manhole cover, but I kind of don't like doing that. I kind of like doing things how they intended. I just kind of my specials there. There's really not much rhyme or reason for coming through here unless you're t unless you tend to get oh those crates. But you would think going around here would get your price, right? Right. Okay, that's kind of bad that I got hit there, but no, <clears throat> the button that would have turned this off is completely broken. You can't use it. So what you actually have to do is go this way, do things, well, I guess you could use those crates and uh, not smash them like I did. But what you gotta do is wait on this manhole cover and just glide your way on top of the... <clears throat> or let go and uh, drop off it entirely. Yeah, you can always... Wait, I, I why are you letting go? Okay, fine. We'll strike jump over there to land on top. Fine, have it your way, game. This is Burger King. You order one way, you get it that way. I don't know, I, I, I kind of have a... Bullshit drop-off! Yeah, that too. <clears throat> I, I, I guess that's what I get for bringing a Burger King. He's like, oh, why are you endorsing that woke company? Ugh. I guess, in all, honestly, I, I guess I can see why it seems like I'm endorsing that company. I mean, after all, <clears throat> I did just reference this slogan. But, I kind of have a little bit of a boycott of Burger King. And after all, their bullshit propaganda involving the quote unquote pink tax. It's like, oh my god, you can, the mill, uh, the. Chicken McNuggets or 
You, you get the same price, but you have to pay more for the pink box, and the pink box is for women, so we gotta charge them more. Kind of bullshit logic right there. Not to mention the, uh, <clears throat> their quote unquote real meals. Like, let's be honest. It's all adversarial feelings. You know, you got Big Cap, you got Pissed, you got Blue, you got Yaws, whatever that is, you got Angry Meals. <clears throat> the idea is no one's happy all the time, Meals. Like that kind of bullshit slogan was. So, not slogan, but <clears throat> their marketing was kind of. Oh! It's our mental health. And you got the bullshit vegan tactic of the Impossible Whopper, which is, which is a Whopper that's without meat. Which, you have so much salt and saturated fat going into that shit. Plus it's cr cross-contamination with actual beef patties. <clears throat> and you can't really expect anything different from a woke company, given the fact that they're so goddamn ignorant, but yeah, I am thankful that there isn't a Burger King where I live, because honestly, fuck Burger King. Now that I got that out of the way, that, that, my dear I ran to Burger King, that's how I got the gold bolt, and up here, check it out. Okay, now I probably could just waste time grabbing all these. Well, I could do it now anyway. Let's do where I actually came here for, and then I'll go and collect bolts. Welcome to the Hovercon Intergalactic <clears throat> Hoverboard Competition. Captain Quark's giving away a brand new Platinum Zoomerator to the winner of this competition. A Platinum Zoomerator. Perhaps that will be the proof of your accomplishments that Skid's agent requires. Wait, <coughs> you guys mean Skid McMark? Yeah, Skid couldn't make it, so we're here to, you know, fill in for him. Guess we'll see about that. <coughs> yeah, now you gotta see why I say that placement of that thing was kinda pointless. You'll see the full extent of my criticism. When we actually get in the race by talking to Miss Pointy Tits herself. But yeah. The right race. Basically what you're gonna do is just keep going to these dash pads. And go through these rings. Yeah. Rings floating in the air. I guess we're suddenly playing Superman 64. Oh, okay. No, not really. I mean, yeah, kind of, I guess. These boost pads and uh, rings will give you these boost of speeds and wow, lap one and I'm already in first place. And... <laughs> okay, I talk a little cocky. I deserve to lose, my, to lose my winning position there. But yeah, do you gotta avoid the um, <coughs> explosive crates? They will stun you for me. I appreciate you taking out the um, explosive crates for us. That's one less has that I have to worry about. But well, okay, not necessarily one less hazard, but one less bit of that hazard, I gotta say. And I don't get what the point of the amoeboids are. I mean, yeah, I guess they're kind of there to just show the planet being infested with these creatures, but they don't do anything to slow you down whatsoever. Just run over them and you kill them on the spot. Just... Why even have first place? I don't even gave any bolts even. Oh well. Uh, that's just me. And it'll just be my kind of viewpoint, my um opinion, sort of. And I, okay, I don't even think I can win this at this point. Oh of course, of course, of course, of course! Oh, you want to criticize me, huh? Well, take this, you motherfucker. I'm going to combo you into second place and cause you to fail the race. <clears throat> I, I, I did not mean to exit there. There's a little bit of a glitch that if you 
fail lo if you fail enough times and just keep continuing, you will continue to hear the standard Black Border City music. And don't get me wrong, it is a good sound, a song. But just, oh my God, wow! I was praising you, game. Okay, that's more my <clears throat> responsibility to not fail there, but still. I I like the song good enough, but at the same time, if it's all you hear down there the majority of the race and you're that bad at it, it kinda does get grading out after a little while. Alright. That being said, gotta keep keep going at it, come on. Okay, first. I just gotta keep at it. Okay, come on. There we go. I hate the placement of those explosive crates. It is so easy to just run into it. And the fact that you gotta just keep up the speed at, at all times just to be able to win. It really sucks. Just hardcore. The fact that you need, need these to keep up speed! this a little while so I guess I'll cut ahead to my successful attempt because oh my god okay not quite back but I, just, I gotta say this skid couldn't make it who the fuck are we racing with then because that looks a lot like skid McMarks to me I'm just saying by the way that Jump I just made it made through. If you can pull off that glitch to uh, get here without the half board, use a taunter and get unlimited bolts. Hi folks, Captain Quirk here. <clears throat> it is my distinct pleasure to introduce this year's Hovercon Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up for newcomers. Ratchet and Clank. Hey look, that's us. Today's winners will take home a brand new professional grade model P15 <clears throat> Platinum Numerator. Manufactured by Gadgetron, this hoverboard drive delivers more lift, speed, and maneuverability than any other anti-grab device on the market. Well, folks, that's all the time we have tonight. Remember to set your info box to the Quark Classic channel for tonight's episode of Dogfight Over Death Canyon. Join us truly. Thank you, and have a Quarkastic day. <clears throat> that was so up to the extreme, yeah. <laughs> Racket, when you said he was a sellout, you weren't whistling Dixie. What am I doing? I should just use the, um, the taunter so it's less ta Okay. <laughs> I find it funny. I was bashing on the uh, taunter all this time, but at the same time, it can be really good for breaking crates. So, I don't know what I'm talking about, clearly, and I guess I was wrong to use the taunter all this time. That's a very, very good investment. And I say this unironically nowadays. I guess I just took this playthrough to kind of open my eyes to how good the taunter really is. Outside of combat. Otherwise, it's completely worthless and my criticisms on that still stand. But, whatever. Really good way to break boxes. <clears throat> Anyway, now that we have official confirmation that Quark is definitely here, we're gonna say we actually meet up with him this time in the next episode because this has gone longer than I expected. Well, with a little cut out here and there. <clears throat> anyway, next time on Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. We will actually be meeting up with Captain Quirk. And this is a brutal mission, let me just warn you right now. See you guys then.